PowerPoint is a great tool that helps your words become visual. This can help retain your audience's attention because it gives them something a little more to look at. It helps establish your credibility because just think about it. You've put all this effort and work into these slides and it shows your audience you're not just getting up there and winging it. You've thought about this ahead of time. However, there are some problems with PowerPoint and I'm going to talk through the most common ones that I see my students making as well as some easy ways to solve it. Problem number one, too much text on the slide. Here's what this looks like. This is death by PowerPoint to most of your audiences. What happens, a lot of things happen here. Your audience reads your slides instead of listens to you talk. You as a speaker are tempted to read from your slides, which is really, really terrible. Um, everybody hates that universally. Don't read your slides to the audience. They can read too. So don't make your slides look like this. Also, the font's really small and kind of hard to read. So avoid this on your slide. Here's basically the same information condensed down to fewer words. By the way, this is kind of like what you're doing when you have presentation notes in front of you. You don't want dense notes like that picture I have on the left. It's hard to read. It's hard to glance at your audience and look back down at your notes again and find your spot. So the same principle applies to putting together PowerPoint slides. You know, have short bullet points, keywords, phrases that are easy for your audience to read. It's also easy for you as a speaker to glance back, see what you need to say next, and continue on while looking at the audience instead of looking at your images. Problem number two, color issues. Often colors between the background as well as the font that's being put on the slides. Okay, you want your slides to be easy for your audience to see and easy to read. There are certain colors that just don't work well together and that become even more problematic when it's blown up on a projector that doesn't have as good of resolution as your computer screen has. So contrast your font and your background um, tastefully. As you can see, this green on the maroon works, but it doesn't necessarily look good. Avoid really bright, obnoxious colors that are going to cause glare on the screen and be hard for your audience to look at. And then also you want to use consistent colors across your slides as well as pretty much on your font. It's acceptable to have your headline in one color and your bullet points in different colors, but keep those same colors across all of your slides so that it's nice and uniform. And then just a good general rule of thumb is if you know ahead of time what your room is going to be like. If it's going to be a darker room, a dimmer room, you can use a dark background within lighter colored font. And if you know you're going to be in a bright room, a well-lit room, you want to use a lighter color background and a darker font on that. So here's the same slide formatted. A little bit easier to read. Still don't love this slide to be honest, but this light gray font, the light gray font on the maroon background looks a little bit better than the previous slide. Problem number three, inconsistent look on a slide as well as across slides. So a lot of times students will have multiple fonts going on. As you can see, I've got one font for the header and then three different fonts for the bullet points. There's also different images that are different styles and just don't look right together. This slide is too busy. It's got too much going on. Simplicity is better. And so you definitely don't want to do this and you want your slides to look more like this. So PowerPoint has default fonts that they recommend for different styles. Usually those default fonts work pretty well. So I recommend just sticking with them. If you do want to change a font, it's okay. But again, consistency. If you use one font for your header and one font for your bullet points, do the same fonts across all of your slides. All right, last problem that I often see is just boring slides. Um, students will open it up to the default white blank PowerPoint presentation and then just type their stuff on there and it's just boring. So PowerPoint has a lot of cool design things built into it that I highly recommend you take advantage of. This is one that it recommended to me and I was like, oh yeah, I like that. That looks good. It's just, it's the same white background and there's nothing wrong with white backgrounds, but you just want to add a little bit of color to it and use the design ideas. So in another video, I show you how to look at those design ideas, but basically it's under the design tab.
I hope this video helped you to avoid some of the common problems that my students tend to encounter in PowerPoint and have better looking, more effective PowerPoint slides for your audience. Thank you very much.